Hey everybody, it's Dr. Matt coming to you live from the beautiful high desert here in uh, New Mexico. Blessings to you. If you're watching this um, right around April 2020, we are in the middle of the COVID crisis. And I just want to send you lots of love. I want to send you lots of blessings and I want to send you some tools. I want to send you some tools that are really, really important. I know these are tough times. And if you're watching this at another time, you're going to remember exactly where you were, exactly what you were doing during this time. And it's hard. It is scary. No doubt everything is changing. But I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question from my heart, from, from mine to yours. And it's, it's a question I, I don't ask to be, you know, pedantic or, or patronizing. It's a question I'm asking myself every day, especially when it's hard, is who do I want to be in this? I don't know what the future is going to hold, but I do know who I can choose to be today. I know I'm not perfect. God knows I'm not perfect, but I know who I can choose to be today. Look, do I want to choose to be the person who's empowered, inspired, stepping up as a leader in my communities and my online communities and, and just being a positive force, calling people I love, donating money to organizations or churches or whatever that, that, that can use that, even if it's just a little meditating and praying every day saying you know what this is a tough time but I'm gonna come out of this better than I've ever been I'm gonna come out of this the best version of myself I've ever been and those are exactly my thoughts that's exactly my choice am I perfect no do I always want to do it no but I do it anyway I do it anyway because I know the fruits of just little tiny steps one after the other make all the difference and I also remember for me, see, I come from a really big meaning. It's that God is not absent in all of this. And I'm just going to use that word freely. You know, feel free to filter that in any way you want to. But God, this organizing intelligence, the God of my understanding is present in it. An ever-present help in our time of need. And I'm called to be the hands, the feet, the eyes, the voice of that God here. Because who else, you know, like we can be that for each other. We get to be the hands and feet and mouth of the divine for each other. And if that's true, and for me that's true, like I then want to grow to be a more effective channel of peace, of power, of positive change. And it really, really inspires me through this time. Now here on the other side, it's so easy to be like, oh my God, I just want to check out. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm depressed. All that's normal, by the way. That sort of spacey feeling where you could just binge watch Netflix, just tune out, have an extra tequila. You know, if you live in one of these states where the weed's legal, you can just, you can self-medicate so you don't have to feel. Or you can just hope that the president's going to figure it out or hope that the governor's going to figure it out and just wait and say, oh, it's over there. And, and, you know, a year from now, we'll come out of this more depressed, more anxious, more disempowered, less connected. And I just think, I'm, I know I'm more than that. I know you're more than that. So it's this fundamental choice. Who do I want to be through this? So that's really important. So important. Now, here's a question that I love. Now, for those of you that know me, you know that I love and thrive. And just Jamaica is my place. It's, since I was a kid, growing up there, I speak the language. Lots of friends and family there. Let's say you and I are hanging out there a year from now. We knew it was a tough year. We know this year kicked our ass in some ways, like it did. But, but, it was the best year of your life. It was the best year of your life. And we're sitting down and we're on a wharf in Montego Bay and we're watching the sun go down and we're eating some jerk chicken and some rice and peas. We got some bammy. And you're like, Matt, that was the best year of my life. Here's what happened. I want, you to, I want you to write this down. What was it like for you physically? Like, you know what? I got over that chronic pain. I got in the best shape of my life. I got stronger than ever spiritually. You know, I started doing those breathing exercises every day. I took the Wim Hof course. I studied transcendental meditation. I took a mindfulness course. I started meditating. I started praying. I started reading the Bible or the Bhagavad Gita, whatever it was that filled you up, that filled your cup, filled you up, filled your cup, whatever that was. Think about your relationships. Who do you want to be? How do you want to be in relationships with your, your partner, your spouse, your wife, your kids, your husband? Where are you going to be financially, work? Lots of us got hit hard through this. But you know, we don't come into this world with any money, as my grandmother used to say, and we go out 
with just the love that we've given, the growth we've had, and the contribution we've done. So yeah, it's hard, and yes, I know there's some people that literally practically have worries about survival, and I get that. I really do. And who are we gonna be in it? Who are we gonna be? So tell me about the best year of your life, your career, your finances, your body, your spirituality, your vision. Maybe this is the, maybe this is the you know, impetus you need to, to get out of a relationship that's not working or to get out of a job that you, you've been like selling your soul for just, just to make security needs met. Look, we have, well, I don't know how many lives we have, but I know we have this life. I know we have this one precious life. I know this is hard, but you know, challenge and hurt and pain and having our backs push up against the wall it's gonna, it's gonna bring out what's really there. And if you're watching this, I know what's really there is character and strength and fortitude and grace and love and backbone and, and spiritual and psychological endurance and grit. You know, we've just gotten really used to life really, really good and really easy for a long time. And this is an amazing opportunity to take our power back take our love back, move past old stories and ideas and theories about ourselves and about this world that just weren't working. Step into empowerment and open up into something bigger than ourselves. Start to open up to energy and to love and to grace and, and to vibration and frequency and, and contributing to the field all around us with love and gratitude and action and accountability, taking 100% responsibility for our experience moment by moment by moment, and paying that forward. Look, we leave breadcrumbs. Here, this is a weird concept, right? But we leave breadcrumbs in the energetic field that speeds up, hastens, uplevels the evolution of the whole human race. So look, whatever happens to me, whatever happens in this life of mine, that's the legacy I want to give. Am I perfect? Far from it. But as St. Paul said in the Bible, and I don't mean to preach. If this isn't your tradition, just take it. But I love this because it's so beautiful that this guy said, you know, through my imperfection is God's power made perfect. So through my imperfection is the human spirit made perfect. We come together in our imperfection and our hurts and our wounds. But that togetherness, that's it. So that's what I'm going to share with you for now. And uh, I can say this from my heart that I love you and know that Lynn and I are praying for anybody that's connected to us on Instagram, Facebook, former clients current clients, anybody who's ever come across my work, may you be blessed. So blessed that it's hard to be stressed. Dr. Matt Lyon, love you. Talk to you soon.